this video, we are going to look at problem 1.14 from Griffith's Introduction to Quantum Mechanics, 3rd edition. Uh, this problem tells us to let P, A, B of T be the probability of finding the particle in the range uh, a, uh, between A and B at some time T. Uh, we're going to start off part A by showing that the time derivative of the probability that the particle is between A and B is just the difference in those probability currents, J of A comma T minus J of B comma T, where J of X comma T is defined as that expression in the middle there. Uh, and then we are asked, what are the units of J of X comma T? And then there's a comment that you can read. Um, so we'll, we'll go through that, and then part B uh, asks us the probability current for the wave function in problem 1.9. So I will bring that up when, when we get to that point. So starting off with problem, or part A, uh, we, we just want to define the probability that the particle is even between A and B as a function of time t uh, is just the wave function squared, or the integral of the wave function squared between those bounds. So something like that, and don't forget your dx. Um, okay, but if you remember uh, this expression up here, we have the time derivative of that probability, so let's just take the time derivative. So d by dt of probability a, b of t is equal to d by dt of that same integral. So I'll rewrite it here really quick. Um, okay, but if we want to take the time derivative of that integral, uh, we note that the only uh, time dependence is in the wave function itself, so we can actually just bring that inside so d by dt of probability a, b of t is equal to that integral a to b. And then we're going to have d by dt acting on the wave function psi of x comma t uh, squared. So I might use another parentheses to indicate that, but um, that's what we're doing. Now d by dt of psi squared, d by dt of psi squared is actually already known. Um, I'll write here equation equation 1.25 tells us that that time derivative, and it's it's very easy to work out even if you if you don't know that, but uh, it's d by dx of open bracket i h bar over 2m uh, times psi star d psi by dx um, minus d psi star by dx times psi. Uh, okay, so that's great. Um, but really quick before we go on, we're going to know that ih bar over 2m, and then look here, ih bar over 2m psi, on the right hand side we have psi, d psi star dx, just like here, and then on the left we're subtracting off psi star d psi by dx, there we go, psi star d psi by dx. So what we actually have is the position derivative of minus j of x comma t. Uh, that's really what we, what we have here. So we can actually plug that in. d p a b of t by dt is equal to the integral a to b. We still have the d by dx from right here. So we have d by dx. Uh, of minus j of x comma t dx. Okay. Um, well, we're taking the integral of the derivative of j, so in other words, we're just evaluating j at those points. So db, uh, sorry, dpab of t by dt is equal to uh, j of x comma t evaluated at the points uh, b and a. I just switched the evaluation um, by using the negative sign there. And so that is of course then telling us that d p a b of t, the, or dt, or the time derivative of that probability that the particle is found between a and b as a function of time t is equal to j of a comma t minus j of b comma t. And that's exactly what we expected to find. We'll go back up here, j of a comma t minus j of b comma t.
where that where j is defined as that. Uh, and then we ask what are the units of the probability uh, current, and we say, well, probability itself is obviously unitless, so we have 1 over seconds over here, therefore j, and I'll put brackets around it to show that we're talking about units here, j has units of 1 over seconds or inverse seconds or inverse time. Um, okay, so that wraps up part A. And then we go on to part B. Find the probability current for that wave function from problem 1.9. So part B, uh, we have problem 1.9 gives us this wave function, psi of x comma t is equal to a times e to the minus a. Make sure I read this correctly. It's pretty small here where I'm referencing it. So we have mx squared over h bar in parentheses, and then we have plus i comma t, or i t, I mean. Uh, okay. So everything that does not have um, imaginary components, so that part, let's just call it f of x. And then we'll call the rest of this e to the minus uh, i a t. So our psi of x comma t is equal to this now. That's just how I'm going to reference this so that I don't have to keep writing um, that big long expression at the front because it turns out that that is not actually going to matter at all in this problem. Um, but you could rewrite it every time and you'd be just fine. Um, but this is how we will reference it. Okay, and then to remind us we want to find the probability current for that wave function. So we have the formula for probability current right there, j of x comma t defined as ih bar over 2m, and then we will uh, open our brackets here. We have psi uh, d psi star by dx minus psi star uh, d psi by dx. Okay, so this is telling us that we're going to need psi, psi star, d psi star by dx, and d psi by dx. So let's get all those really quick. So to reiterate, psi is just going to be f of x times e to the minus i a t. So therefore, psi star is obviously just f of x e to the plus i a t. And then d psi by dx is equal to f prime of x, or this df by dx, uh, but then e to the minus i a t is unchanged, and then d psi star by dx uh, gives us um, derivative with respect to x, so f prime of x e to the positive i a t because it's psi star. Uh, and then we just take these and plug them directly into our probability current uh, expression, so we have that that equals ih bar over 2m, or j equals ih bar over 2m. Open the bracket, and then we're just going to write f. Now, I'll leave out the um, f of x bar. I'll, I'll leave out that just to simplify this. So this is f times e to the minus i a t. Uh, d psi star by dx is f prime e to the i a t. And then we're subtracting off psi star that would be f e to the i a t, and then d psi by dx would be f prime e to the minus i a t. And then we close our brackets. We notice that the e to the i, I a t cancels with e to the minus i a t there, and then over here e to the i a t cancels with e to the minus i a t. They just add to, you know, e to the something plus e to the minus that same thing is just e to the zero, which is one. Okay. So we have ff prime minus ff prime. So therefore, this whole expression, uh, which we could have jumped to initially, but it's a little easier to see once you cancel the exponentials. Um, but that whole thing is zero. And so if, if this is zero, then j of x comma t is thereby also zero. And that is the probability current for the wave function in problem 1.9.